Naked Jennifer Lawrence pics were leaked on Sunday, which apparently is all that matters on the internet right now. Like a World War I soldier using a pigeon to get important intel over enemy lines, I'm going to tie a current events message to your bird leg. News helmet shaped like a sun hat or plate. So as you undoubtedly know by now, a whole bunch of private sexy time naked celebrity pictures were stolen recently and leaked over the weekend. Stars like Kate Upton, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Kristen Ritter, and of course, Jennifer Lawrence, were all seen in their birthday suits because of, well, because of how the internet works and perverted voyeurs. And by perverted voyeurs, I of course mean humans. Yes indeed, in an event now known as the Fappening, for pretty obvious reasons, a group of hackers had apparently been working diligently for weeks to hack phones and servers in the hopes of stealing private nude pictures of about 100 celebrities. Not only were the hacks successful, but the creeps shared the looted goods with the world on the online forum 4chan. But now that this is being hailed as a sex crime, the world feels really bad for looking at the pics. But make no mistake, the entire world looked at those pics. Why? Because they could, the same way that they were stolen, with a button click. Welcome to the future, there are maybe like five guys who didn't look at these pics, and two of them had been blind since birth, and the other guys found out about the pics after they'd been removed. Maybe friends and family of the victims also looked away, but that's it, everyone else looked until they were shamed, and rightly so. But you know what? A group of scuzzbags went to a lot of trouble to get those photos. Like a lot of trouble. Like Ocean's Eleven Extreme Heist Plan level trouble, but with nudie pics as the payoff instead of money. This is our planet. This is where we live. We are sick little voyeuristic monkeys. Every mother's child of us. Gawking is all we now care about. I've said this before, but it bears repeating. Any photo you take with your phone can and likely will eventually get stolen by some asshole and put online. And I'm not victim blaming. I'm just stating a fact. It sucks to be any one of those women, truly. But assholes exist. Really competent ones, too. I wish they didn't. But wishing people didn't do bad things doesn't work any more than wishing you weren't as hairy as an otter make you any less hairy than, say, an otter. Look, and if it was my sister or my girlfriend or Tom's mom, I got your back, buddy, I'd be pissed, really pissed. I'd want justice. Secret, choppy, meat cleaver, street justice. But someone would film that meat cleaver justice on their phone and it would get leaked and then I'd go to jail. Hear me now. Technology is no longer our friend when it comes to privacy, which is great when you're dealing with a shady cop, but not ideal when you just want to have sexy fun times with your lover person. Cloudbox, or whatever it's called, is not safe. Huh, <laughs> Cloudbox. That little password you have on your iPhone to unlock it, it's not safe. It would be safer if you wrapped your iPhone in bacon and hoped for a kosher thief, or wrapped it in colorful yarn. At least the thief would have to take a bit of time to unravel it before easily hacking your account and snaking everything you have on there. Or at least you'd have pretty yarn to look at while some slimy hacker snuck into your life and stole your shit to post it online. Which, as I've said before, is where you can now see everyone naked. Everyone. I mean, listen, would I look if a sexy pic of Tom's mom was put online against her will? Probably. I mean, we all would. We really would, Tom. Would you open a file someone sent you that read, stolen naked pics and vids of people you went to school with? Probably. Very few of you wouldn't. Sure, you don't really want to see that video of Floyd Gramston arching on a sofa with his dangly bits of flip-flopping about, all wobbledy-flibbledy or flibbledy-flabbledy, but you'd do it. Maybe because you'd also get to see Ava Needlemeyer doing the same thing. Or Jackson Mansfield with his sinewy, vascular tan neck and deltoids. I mean, those specs. And what is he packing down there, right? What is it? Is it, hmm, what is he packing? Is it wrong to look? Yes, absolutely. Is it human to want to look? Yes, absolutely. Again, we're sick, warrioristic little monkeys. That's why we love our reality TV. It is our universal crack. <laughs> universal crack. In no uncertain terms, what happened to Jennifer Lawrence and the other actresses no one seems to care about that much is a crime. That's a fact. Her personal private effects were stolen. Private moments were stolen. But until perverts and criminals stop existing, so never, let's exercise a bit of caution going forward and make it even tougher on them with laws, but also our own protection measures. German secret operatives are now using typewriters for transmission of classified and clandestine information because paper can't be stolen with the click of a button from unsafe cloudy box or whatever the shit's called. And by the way, you'd have more luck keeping your pics safe by hiding them in an actual cloud. On a personal note, I just bought an antique pinhole camera over the weekend because I thought it looked cool. But now I'm going to use it for analog naughty private playtime. Mostly with Tom's mom because she said she wanted to take pics with me. <laughs> I'm buddy, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Or I'll just hire a portrait artist. And then I'm gonna take those pics and those beautiful paintings and put them in a safe, in a block of cement, in a bomb shelter, under my house and have it guarded by a two-headed dog and that old crusader from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. For the time being though, in solidarity with J-Law and the other women whose privacies were violated by perverts, I am leaking my own photos. So here they are. There's this guy, then I cut out carbs, and there's this guy, and then there's this guy when I was doing a lot of heavy lifting. Solidarity.
I'm Mark and I hope you enjoyed your long weekend. But just remember that just because it was a very long weekend doesn't mean it was any better than a regular weekend or even a weekend that's on the shorter side. What matters is how confident you are in using your weekend. Also how thick your weekend is, was. How thick your weekend was. He looks like a Sisyphus. Doesn't he look like a Sisyphus, Tom? Grand. Grand Canyon! Grand Canyon. Writing and performing and performing and writing. Writing and then performing and performing the writings. Writing the things and then performing the things. And writing those things and putting jokes in those things. And writing those things and performing those things.